हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ हर्षिल गुप्ता एंड आई एम अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ एन आई टी रायपुर करेंटली स्टडिंग इन एथ सेमेस्टर सो टूडे आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर माई एक्सपीरियंसेस एक्सपीरियंसेस ऑफ गेट टू थाउजेंड एटीन विथ यू एंड आई वोट गो इन मच डिटेल रिगार्डिंग माई पास्ट हिस्ट्री फ्रॉम वेयर डिड आई स्टार्ट एंड हाउ डिड आई केम टू एन आई टी रायपुर एंड ऑल आई विल टॉक अबाउट मेनली दी बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट्स Uh, which you should consider while preparing for gate cs gate cs exams okay so my journey started when i uh, when i came to fifth semester and uh, at that time i thought like what should i pursue in my life after the uh, btech then then i started talking about uh, talking out uh, the possibilities which i had before me and those were uh, gate then uh, you have cat exams then you have gre exams and then upsc exams then i started finding details about this exams and then i came to know that uh, gate is the most appropriate exam for me and uh, why did i think like why is gate the best for me is like i am from nit raipur and i've got lots of opportunities when it comes to placement because uh, in my college placements are very good for computer science students and other branch student but still i i i wanted to pursue gate so why did i think like that the reason is there are endless opportunities after gate you you will have the opportunity for uh, joining one of the prestigious so uh, ra rather the best institutes in in india which are iisc uh, bangalore iit bombay iit kanpur and variety variety of other iits you will have the opportunities for psus you will have the opportunities for other exams like isro uh, bark drdo which uh, whose om syllabus is also based upon gate syllabus only so if you are preparing for gate you will end, end up preparing for this exam as well uh, together with the gate preparation and uh, uh, there are many other things which which would help you uh, which would help you with gate preparation Wh while you are uh, going for the gate preparation uh you you will find that your semester exams will also go good because the most of the subjects uh, which we study in gate are also part of the regular cu curriculum of of the college exams so you will have multiple benefits uh, if you are preparing for the gate exams now coming to the gate preparation i would say uh, it's it's not difficult it's it's quite easy if you if you follow a regular pattern if you are sincere regarding your studies and if you are determined so initially uh, i did not used to give much time for gate preparation when i started uh, during the fifth semester i would just come uh, to my coaching which is i gate uh, which is i gate which is run by the siddharth shukla sir and uh, i would go back to home after that and i would just take about one hour or so for reading what, what whatever has had been taught during that time and uh, after that i would do my regular thing so i wasn't that much serious regarding gate during my fifth semester this went on uh, till sixth semester in sixth semester i used to give much more time because uh, i i used to think that uh, if i am preparing for something i i must give my best for it and i should not feel regretful later on that i did not give much time to that so uh, during the sixth, sixth semester i would i would study about 3 to 4 hours uh, on a regular basis but this was also uh, this but i i felt that this was also less because uh, if i am preparing for a big exam like gate uh, i i should i should give mo much more time later on i i i found out that i need to have a particular direction while i'm studying it's not just that you will keep on studying so i started changing my strategies i started making a particular deadline for each subject uh, according to according to my capabilities and uh, i i would do it for each and every subject initially so it was like uh, for harder subjects like uh, computer network or csa uh, i used to give about 15 days initially when i when i just started studying it but uh, for for subjects which does not carry much marks like calculus i, I would i used to give only 5 days or 4 days initially and uh, with this uh, with this charts and uh, deadlines i continued uh, my first important studies for this ex uh, for this subjects then uh, when i had covered it for the first time second time also i would uh, makes make a particular plan for studying uh, for studying these subjects 
but this time uh, I, I used to give lesser time than before because I had already studied those subject once. So for me it wasn't that difficult revising those subjects again. But, but I would make sure that I make such a deadline uh, which would make me feel that uh, I, I, I just could not complete it in, in, any, in any possibility, under any possibilities. Because uh, until and unless you push yourself, uh, you, you doesn't come out, you won't come out of your comfort zone. You, you won't realize the hidden potential which is present inside you. So I would always try to push myself, push my capabilities and uh, I would try to make myself come out my, of my comfort zone so that uh, I, I, I would put in more efforts and uh, I, would, I would discover far more, uh, I would discover far more opportunities for myself and uh, I'll have uh, a better or uh, I'll have advantages over other students who, who are preparing for the same exams. So this helped me a lot, uh, this particular thing of making a deadline for each subject would, would make sure that I'm not running out of time or I'm running behind my gate preparation because I, I could evaluate myself based upon my studying patterns and uh, evaluating myself based on the deadline which I had made. And uh, this, this thing helped me a lot and I had completed my whole course by the end of almost October. So, and uh, October. And I was quite confident with my preparation that I would get a good rank. And after the October, I started giving uh, subject tests and mock tests. Uh, I would say never leave tests. Uh, tests are the basic things or, or rather the most important things which will help you in cracking the gate exams because if you'll give test, you will know where do you stand. Uh, you'll know how, how much you are prepared for that particular subject. And you'll know at what points you're lacking so you can cover them. Still after October, I had four months. And in, in all these four months, I used to give tests and I'll, I'll used to revise. And I'll again and again solve the gate questions because the gate previous year questions are the best way to judge yourself. Okay, so for test series, uh, I, I, I joined uh, Siddharth Sukla sir's test series and it was quite good. Uh, I would say my preparation went up about, or rather my confidence went up, went up about five fold after giving those tests. And uh, again, uh, as, as the time passed by, my performance started improving uh, with in, uh, my, my performance started Im improving on a regular basis. And uh, during the last month or rather in January, I, I used to study about 10 hours for gate because, uh, you know, only one month is there. And again, uh, as, as I previously mentioned, uh, you'll end up forgetting things if you won't revise. Even though I had studied about three to four times before January, uh, three to four times each sub subject, subject before January, but still I was like, uh, okay, I, I might forget it. So I might forget things which I had already studied. So I would again revise, again revise. And uh, this, this kept on uh, till, till the January. And uh, now 4th February was our exam. So we, uh, I, I had only three days. So what I did for those last three days was I used to make some notes, and but I, I didn't used to write anything. I would uh, take uh, my smartphone. I used to snap the notes, and uh, those uh, like that I had been doing for about one and a half years. And that the, uh, that last minute notes helped me a lot in remembering the formulas and little little nuances which uh, which you you tend to forget like uh, some formulas of discrete maths, uh, formulas of linear algebra. Uh, calculus uh, and uh, there are some formulas in CSA operating system. So for those things, I had made some notes and that help, helped me a lot. And I was very confident that uh, I, I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna score very good in the gate exams because uh, already I had done so much preparation, I had given it so much, but still uh, because of some reasons, I could not score that good. Uh, my rank wa was uh, six. Uh, my rank is rather six eighty seven, uh, and uh, uh, I, I had thought that I'd score under hundred given my preparation. But uh, during the exams, I made lots of silly mistakes, and then I realized that uh, it's not just the preparation uh, that's gonna give uh, good marks. Uh, you should you should be mentally uh, very much stable during that time. Your psychology should be in a very healthy state. And uh, 
and uh, it's it's quite common that uh, although you would have prepared some some subjects very good you'll have a good hold on some particular topic but still you end up doing mistake for that particular uh, topic only because uh, the mental pressure is uh, quite high during that time and i would say uh, try keeping yourself in that particular atmosphere before the gate test so that uh, you get adapted to that particular atmosphere and uh, uh, it will help you a lot in it would help you a lot during that particular time and uh, those 3 hours are the on uh, is, is uh, those 3 hours are the only thing that matters uh, at the end of the day and uh, somehow i could not make it during those 3 hours but still uh, I, I i was i was happy with my rank because uh, because i had already done so much of hard work so uh, i i did not have uh, I, I did not have i regret that okay i did not put in efforts or uh, i i did not do i did not do uh, preparation very well i was thoroughly prepared but uh, you know little mistakes here and there and uh, your rank could go from 100 to 500 and some more little mistake it can go up to 1000 so i would say when you are giving tests uh, make sure you don't do silly mistake uh, i did lots of silly mistake during my gate exam and uh, I, I still feel bad about that but okay uh, it's, it's just a part of life and uh, uh, and uh, just uh, make sure that you give your all for the next year's gate exam and I, I hope that you end up uh, getting a good score and pass with flying credits. Thank you so much.